Hi, today I want to talk about the Metric Halo audio interfaces. So I bought my first Metric Halo audio interface over a decade ago, and it is this 2882, which back then connected over Firewire 400. Um, one of the unique things about a Metric Halo audio interfaces is, is that they separate out the analog part from the digital part. So you can continue using your preamps and over time upgrade the digital capabilities as new um, boards come out. So they're now, um, they released not long ago the 3D version of the digital section, which allows you to connect the Metric Halo devices over Ethernet and USB-C to your computers. Um, it also provides more processing power for the onboard effects. So one of the new capabilities that came out with the latest firmware update for this 3D digital section is called Satellite Computer Port, um, or SCP. And what that allows you to do is to connect two computers at the same time, one over the Ethernet port and the other one over the USB-C port, and to stream audio between them and to basically select what you prefer using on each individual device and still use the onboard processing power of the Metric Halo devices with, for instance, their channel strip, uh, the compressors, the equalizers, the, the onboard reverbs, or even build your own DSP graphs if you want to do that. Um, so to demo that here, I have a MacBook Pro connected over Ethernet and I have an iPad Pro connected over USB-C, both to the 2882. Um, my instrument is connected over DIN MIDI to this SEO2 analog synthesizer, which goes in over analog inputs 5 and 6 uh, to the Metric Halo audio interface. So that's what you're hearing. And this console application that is running on the Mac basically allows you to configure all the routing on the Metric Halo audio interface and also all the settings and the onboard processing. Um, so I have two channel strips, one for the analog audio coming in and then another one for a bus that is sent out straight to my speakers, which is the main bus. So instead of Routing that audio straight to my speakers, what I want to do is to loop in that iPad to use effects on the iPad. To do that, instead of assigning this um, analog channel strip to the main bus, I'm creating a new bus um, and I'm routing that bus to the satellite computer port USB um, channels, stereo channels, to the iPad. I'm running the AUM um, host here on the iPad and I'm creating a new channel strip there um, and I'm using the hardware inputs 1 and 2 which are going to be the satellite computer ports and now you can see that this is being routed to this group going into the iPad back out because that is what AUM, AUM automatically sets, sets up as outputs back out of the iPad to the 2882. Now I can create uh, a new channel strip inside the 2882 to route that signal, so the SCP USB stereo signal, to the main output. And now we've finished creating that loop. And the audio is streaming through the iPad and you can hear it through the monitors. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use an effect on the iPad. Um, you can use whichever effect you want, but I, I tried this one uh, earlier, which is shimmer effect. Um, with this preset here, if I tweak it a little bit, uh, let's just reduce the amount of reverb. I basically use it as a pitch shifter at the same time. And if I want to, I can like continue building out that effect chain. So for instance, let's add a fab filter a reverb, which is really excellent. Um, I can make this full screen pick out uh, this preset here, change the wet dry mix a bit. And I can then use the touch interface of the iPad to dial in the sound I want. And just freely use the touch interface for what it's good for. Like I can tweak settings, Uh, 
Um, now, let's say that I want to use Logic on the Mac to record whatever I'm doing. So I'm opening up Logic Pro, creating a new project, and I'm creating a track where I'm going to uh, record the digital audio that the Metricato device will be sending back to the host. Um, so to do that, I go back to that console here and I have a dedicated section here that allows you to route any audio from a channel strip straight to the host. Um, I'm already using channels 8 and 2 to record the digital audio that you're hearing. Um, so I'm going to route the dry signal straight to the host over channels 3 and 4, which I already pre-selected here. And you can see it appear like on the metering in Logic. Let's now also route the wet signal um, to the hosts over channel 7 and 8 here, uh, creating a new track in Logic, which will record from 7 and 8. And if I rec record enable both tracks, you can see them show, you can see the meter show up for both of them. Um, let's now record that. You can see the reverb trail on the wet audio. So now both of these have been recorded. Um, let's play them back. You won't hear anything because in the Mio console there is no routing created from the host back to the main bus. So let's create a stereo routing from host channels 1 and 2 to the main bus. Now, now when I play this track, you can hear the, the dry signal or if I mute the other one, you can hear the wet signal. Um, so this allows you to basically record the performance both dry and wet in case you would want to do that if you would want to tweak the effects afterwards you still have your original performance there's a various use cases that you can come up with here um, so this was a demo of satellite computer port that allows you to connect two computers to the same metric halo audio interface that is running 3d um, and you can route audio back and forth any channel you want in any configuration you want and basically uh, leverage the strengths of each computer or platform and tie them all together with one audio interface. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Bye.